Audio check. Audio check. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, and good evening. I am your host, Lord Orfeo. And tonight, we are continuing, and I think concluding, with Sea of Solitude from Joe May Games. But first, our usual announcements to allow our other viewers the opportunity to join in for the show. As I just said, my name is Lord Orfeo. I stream seven days a week, Monday through Friday, typically from 6 o'clock in the evening to 9 o'clock at night, and Saturdays through Sundays from 8 o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night. Two things to keep in mind about my stream times. One, all stream times are for the Eastern U.S. time zone, so please do adjust accordingly. Two, the end times to each of my streams may be extended. It really just depends upon my personal energy level and the level of enthusiasm we have for whatever it is that I happen to be streaming that night. Uh, in addition to the amount of content left to be streamed. Also of importance, do know that I stream something different for each and every day of the week. It's typically indie games on Mondays, retro games on Tuesdays, a weekly just chatting stream on Wednesdays, uh, role-playing games on Thursdays, typically AAA games for Fridays, horror games on Saturdays, and racing games on Sundays. So if any of those stream themes are of interest to you, then I hope to see you again throughout the week. With our announcements out of the way, let us return now to the stream of the day. We are here with Sea of Solitude from Joe May Games. It is a third-person adventure game about this young woman who you see pictured here in a boat, and she suffers from loneliness. Despite being surrounded by friends and family, she feels isolated. And it is this sense of loneliness, this isolation, that has caused her to transform into a monster. And it seems our goal in this game is to figure out how to change her back. So, let us load into the game. And I believe we just started a new section. Yes, Chapter 8, Fine and Mellow. And I think someone told me there are 12 chapters to the game. So, we have five left, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, five chapters. I don't know how long each of the chapters are. Sometimes we can fly through a chapter pretty quickly. Other times it can take a bit, but we will see, we will see. I'm here with a tail last bit of some, what is this? Fruit Punch Gatorade, and a nice hot cup of Energy Boost Tea. So we should have a decent amount of hydration to guide us through. Also, for those interested, there are new redeemables, there are new channel points. Excuse me. Okay. All right. 
let me equip my headset and we will get into the game. Oh, that was impressive. That was impressive. I thought it was going to be some sort of loading that goes on, but no, as soon as I clicked it, it just brings us right back to where we were. That is very cool. Poor Chloe, you're still tangled up. We can figure this out, okay? Chapter 8, Fine and Mellow. Interesting, she can't run. Actually, maybe she can run, hold on. Maybe I just forgot how to run. L2 is flare. R2 is remove corruption and melt ice wall. Options is the pause menu. Triangle is interact. Circle is to skip a cutscene. I never like to do that. Or slide down the ladder. That's how to slide down the ladder. Um, X is to jump or board, unboard the boat and connect. Squares to watch monster. Right analog stick is camera. Left analog stick is to move. Okay. So then I should... I guess it's a story-related reason why she can't run right now. She barely made it out of here alive. When she solved this puzzle, the whole thing flooded. Very good sound effects. The water, the footfalls, the slight squish of sand beneath your feet. It's all very well done. I know things have been tough lately. Yes. I miss you. Sunny and Kay do too. You're never really here. Not this again. I told you I need to work. It took me ages to get to this position. I don't want to lose it. Kay is 20 now. She can take care of herself and Sunny has you. Look, I'm exhausted. Let's talk about this later, okay? Okay, fine. It's a beautiful day. Let's not ruin it. Deal. And this place is great, isn't it? It's wonderful. I need to show you something. What is it? Let's just say we're going on a boat trip. Hmm. And usually very calming, soothing music. There are moments when this game is almost magical. The voice acting is really well done. The sounds of the voices are all very, typically they're very calm. And the music is absolutely beautiful and it blends very well with the graphics. And then at times, the game shifts and it becomes very dark and scary. 
But then I guess this is supposed to be a parallel of life. At times, life is very serene, very beautiful, very calm. And at others, it is very crazy and very dark and a bit scary. And so I tend to linger in the nice places when I can. As far as I'm concerned, these are the best moments of the game. And I really love the graphic style. It has almost a cell shaded look, similar to Borderlands. But it is quite a bit different. Something else about this game that I find interesting is... Oh wait, let me not get too far ahead of myself. Is that the map isn't really all that big. Um, this game has probably one big sandbox map, but you can't access all of it at once. Rather, um... There's an ad like an addition of verticality. To the oh, I can't get up there. I mean, I, I can get up there, but I can't disembark the boat to get up there. Um, there's a level of verticality to the game that prevents you from accessing the whole map at once, and it's pretty ingenious. So as you can see, there's a wall of water there, and it's only being held back by the magic of that ball of light. Uh, otherwise, this entire city would be completely flooded. And, um... We can travel atop the water, we can swim atop the water, but we can't dive beneath the waves. And so... As the water recesses, or... As it ascends... Um, we can only explore what the water allows us to explore. And so you're constantly going back and forth across this very large map. And, um... Or well, I would say it's very large. I would say it's it's a medium-sized map. It's probably it's really not that big. We can probably see one side from the other uh, if it were flat. But um, they play with it in a very creative way. I want to see if I can get out and explore here. There are also collectibles in the game. We haven't managed to get them all, and I know we've missed at least one. Um, but... It is fun collecting them when we can. I want to see if there's a way to get up there. The way the boat billows over the waves. The birds flying around. Feathers wafting through the air. The fish swimming beneath you. The soothing music. It's all very nice. Very, very relaxing.
point of see what's between these buildings. Okay. You see that house over there? Yes. Do you like it? It's a nice house. Oh, well, it's ours now. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, that's... that's great. Oh, so they got a boat house. Oh, it's not a boathouse. It's a house on an island. Looks, hmm, looks like there's another building right there, just beneath the waves. Wonder what that is.
think of all the things we can do here. You can barbecue in the summer and, and relax in the garden. You can even work from home. It, it's just this is all so sudden. Let's go inside. You'll love it. Okay. We're going to be so happy here. I promise. This is a beautiful house out here in an island. A little garden, nice back patio. Four years ago, we bought that house. So, my family home is just a rescue measure. It was a lie from the very beginning. <gasps> I don't want to talk! Why don't you get that? Our family is falling apart because you won't talk. What we need to do is listen to each other and, and help each other. It's not that hard. You do enough talking for both of us. All I want is some peace. But you're always moaning and whining and disrespecting me. Leave me alone. Thank you. 
Oh, it turned him into a... If you hide away on your own, nothing will get better! Actually, I was fine on my own before you forced this whole thing onto me! What whole thing? They are talking right now. Why isn't this working? Why are you both still screaming? So you were lying about wanting kids? No! I might have wanted them eventually, but you wouldn't wait. I thought it would help. How? You were drifting away. I thought if we had a little one, it... It would be better for you? No. For us. I tried everything to make you happy.
We can still fix this. No, we can't. You know we tried everything already. How could we ever raise children here? What was I thinking? In a loveless home. No, 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 stop. I always loved you. All of you. I still do. I don't want our kids to go through this anymore. That's where sometimes you have to let go. I don't know. So you're able to move forward and heal. turned into humans too so they did the right thing I'm so happy for them but I'm still a monster Understand you. Trophy earned. No Mama and Papa. To do. I never thought I'd make it this far. Sunny, my parents, so much suffering. My poor parents, I'm so glad they're okay. They look relieved, now happy even. That monster was partly right, but how are you supposed to know when to stop helping and start letting go? I know Mama and Papa love each other. I don't understand how you can love someone so much and still say goodbye. Speaking of goodbyes, I haven't seen a girl in a while. It's so strange. I miss her even though I don't know who she is. <sighs> it's getting cold.
Chapter 9. Nobody gets me but you. Hmm. Oh, you can't see the water in the background. So I'm sure if I go back far enough, I'll be able to swim, but it's probably not a good idea. Oh, he's glowy. What? I still can't understand you. I'll be back. Chloe! Oh, I'm so happy you're here too. Wait for me. Chloe? Why are you so far away? It's freezing. to see you. I missed you so much. Jack, it's you, of course. Oh god, I miss you so much too. So much. I have so many things to tell them. I've learned all about listening and how to help and even let them... <laughs> what? What's wrong? Why would you hurt me like that? So I think the girl is her. Hmm. Pick up shard. No, oh, she literally picks up the shard. This is a piece of of Jack's face. I saw something beneath it. Something dark. What did I do to hurt him like that? I can't fix this. I'll carry it back to him. I can't heal him.
melt ice. Hmm. take Sunny home from school, or just to see me? Well, Sunny has another hour of class. I might have time for you. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you do know I'm crazy for you, right? <laughs> I hear that sentence all the time. So, I'm not your only lover? Well, if you can convince me you deserve it, then maybe you might become the only one. I think I can give you a compelling demonstration of my skills. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> that was right at the start of our relationship. Has it really been two years? He was the most lovely man I've ever met. There's nothing collectible up here, is there? I don't think so. Now this is the Image Magazine place. We were here earlier, only it wasn't snowing. Oh, this is dangerously close to the school. This is the school! That's the school building right there that we were in earlier. Well, not that one, but the, like, I think the one behind it. I think these were the trains to get across. Uh-oh. We're being led into the dark place. Sir. Kay, this is serious. Please listen to me. I... No, Jack is here. I was just on my way to apologize. Please. If you go on like this, you will destroy yourself. If you keep getting in my way, I will destroy you. Kay, why won't you listen? Looks like ultimately, though, I have to get around behind her. What's that? Oh, it's just brick. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I can ex. Uh oh. synchronize. There's probably one of me up there. 
And then there's probably one of me up there. I have to activate this one, I see. Let's go this way first. It looks a shorter path. I just got a flavor out of my mouth. That ever happened to you? All of a sudden, like, a certain flavor just hits your tongue. Not something that you have in your mouth now, but it's like something you just have a... a taste for all of a sudden. That almost never happens to me. But for some reason, I'm, like, fiending a cherry popsicle right now. There's the ladder. Oh, here we go. I always like to take my time, make sure there are no collectibles around. Sometimes you do something in this game and it just cuts you off from backtracking. And so if you have the opportunity, and the game is usually very lenient on giving you all the time you want to explore, then, uh, you know, make sure you take advantage of it. Where's the other me? I'm not here? That's weird. Well, what was the point of getting up here? Huh. Oh, fiddle-faddle. I think I have to do this in order. So I think I will have to come back up here, but I can't come up here right now. I can't wait to see Jack again. I recognized him immediately. That must mean something. I can't imagine there really being anyone after this. Like, she's already helped her younger brother. She's helped her parents. Now she's on track to helping her boyfriend. I'm guessing that's what this chapter is about in its entirety. Let's see exactly where we are. We might even be on to chapter 9. I don't know. That section. Oh wow, we are in chapter 9. We just flew through chapter 8, I didn't realize how quickly that went. Fine and mellow, family affairs, sweet home, transition. Chapter 9, nobody gets me but you, beautiful monster, building walls, she annoys me. And then there's two more, we're over halfway through. Wow, that is a fast chapter. And that's nine, right? That's nine. So then there's ten, eleven, there's three more chapters to go after this. So I'm guessing the last, maybe the last three chapters deal with her helping herself instead of her helping everyone else. Music bar. It sounds nice. Probably supposed to go up there. This is the first snowy environment we've come across. But like I said before, I do believe that we've been here before. And I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have to get up there. So there are two collectibles in this game. The first are birds. If you see them perched somewhere, you can walk up and shoo them away. And the second are message in a bottle. Or messages in bottles. I've come to believe that the messages in the bottles are notes that she has written to herself. And I think there's actually three rep three representations of our main hero here in this game. There's her, the one we're controlling, who is, I guess you would call her, like, an innocent soul. Then there is the much darker version of ourselves, which I think is represented by the snail creature who was blocking us earlier. And then there is the girl of light in the yellow jacket. And I think she represents who we really are. No. No, okay, no collectibles. I don't think there's that many collectibles left in this game since we're almost at a 10. Nothing there, right? No, nothing there, okay. This is it. This time, I'll make her leave me alone forever. To come to the light sometimes requires a moment of pain. Hey, you've learned so much lately. You are almost there. You know what to do now, don't you? I know exactly what to do. I'll use everything I've learned to help Jack. He needs me. What? No! Now I have to go all the way back over there. Here we go again. Oh. 
That's a very realistic scream of anguish. Understand. That looks like she's shivering now too without her shell. And the wolf's behind her. Look, I'm sorry about your shell. Are you cold? No. I'm scared. You don't need to be. I know what I'm doing. Hey, don't you see what you're becoming? You really don't understand. Kay is becoming her. I wonder what happened between them, though. I want to go back real quick. I just want to take a picture of this monster up close. Throughout most of the game, you can't take pictures of monsters. Or you can't get close to monsters, I should say. Okay. Actually, there is one other monster in this game that she probably has to deal with, the whale. Which is that large serpentine creature that swims through the water. So after this, it's probably going to be dealing maybe with that creature, and then the last two chapters are going to be dealing with herself. Or maybe the chapter just before they're in is dealing with herself, and the last chapter is controlling herself as a human. Who knows? We'll see. Dick! I'm sorry I hurt you. I don't know how it happened. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just happy you're here. You look so cute with your backpack. Have I been carrying it this whole time? <laughs> I'm here. I listen. I'll help you. Don't, Don't talk, talk to, to me, me like I'm sick! I'm fine! Leave me alone! No, please! I just wanted to help. I... I remember now. 
Sometimes he gets irritated for no reason. I want to help him so badly. There must be a way for me to save him. And then everything will be fine again. Hmm. Perhaps he's a more serious case. Perhaps he needs professional help. Looks like the monster back there left. Oh, it's the girl! Which I think is the, the human version of us. That's creepy. What happened to you? Oh, they're protecting the shard. a logic puzzle? Are they going to go around in a circle? Oh, I have to pick it up and run? Interesting. Chapter 10, Painted Black. Oh, so Chapter 10 also revolves around her and her boyfriend. Interesting. Three chapters of the game left to go. We went through two chapters in one hour. I like to always go back into the sections to see what the names are for each part. She tries to help behind the mask. That's a shame. It doesn't sound like... I mean, the way the title is kind of makes it sound like... Maybe he's just putting on a nice front, but I don't think... I don't know. So far it doesn't come off as that's how he is. It seems like he's troubled. And he's trying his best to be normal. What's that big thing in the distance? I wonder if we've been there already. I don't think so. That's probably where we're about to go. Are you feeling okay, Jack? I'm fine. Please stop asking me that. Sorry. It's just you left the party so early without even telling me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I left the party because I wanted to, okay? Okay. Just our friends and me wondered. I, I hate parties, okay? And our so-called friends made fun of me. What? You used to hang out with us almost every night. Besides, they would never make fun of you. They love you. I love you. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I, I don't like being with people these days. I feel awkward, like I don't belong there. 
Oh, come here. Your job has been so exhausting lately. Maybe you just need more cake cuddles. Yeah. That might be it. <laughs> that was last year. Cuddles always made him feel better. Maybe that's what he needs. Hmm. Nope. I think her cuddles were just a band-aid on a much more serious problem. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I better know what this is. Well, maybe I know what this is. Hmm. No, I can't tell. I was thinking maybe we're gonna go all the way around and then eventually come back through this door. Oh, I heard a, I heard a squawk. Oh, I know where we are now. Now I know where we are. Oh, this drove me nuts. I couldn't figure this out. Wonder if I'll be able to get that bottle too. I don't remember where it is anymore. But this was this is where we started the game today. We started it right here. Only all this was water and it was a beach outside. And I remember trying quite a bit last stream to uh, to get up to that bird to shoot away and I just could not figure it out. I tried everything. And uh, now we know how. You had to wait and come back later. Hello there. Come on. Get over there. Get, there we go. Come on. Shoo. This is where we were before. Then I know what that is in the background. We have been there. That horrible monstrosity all the way back there. That's the... Um, the tower you have to scale uh, that dealt with her parents. So we're not going back there. Thank goodness we're not going back there. That and um, the school. The school is just... Ugh. The school is just creepy. But the, that tower over there was just difficult. Oh, they're back. They are so creepy. There's three of them this time. Thankfully, they can't float that fast. They are really creepy, though. Hmm. It's interesting they won't attack you, though, until you try to pick up the shard. I'm gonna go and see where I have to, uh, drag the shard to. Because I don't know if they, if they catch up to you and they pull the shard back from you. 
does it just drop and stay here, or do they pull it all the way back there? Ooh, I could go for a Mars bar. Okay. That would have confused me right here. Like, where would I go? The train is, is the train going to open for me? What's going on? Oh, there he is. He's perched atop that building just waiting for us. He's getting creepier and creepier the closer we get, or the more we pursue him. I guess it's because we're seeing more of who he really is. Would you call that a... A wolf in wolf's clothing. Let's get back down there the quick way. That's not fair. Oh, I got stuck on the wall. Oh, they did. They took it all the way back. That's cheating. They flew up over the wall. You cheaters. I'm gonna wait. There we go. I don't want to go too fast because then they might go up and over. Hope we don't have to go back up there. Though it might not be that bad if we did, because fire was the main threat up there. But since everything is frozen out, it might not be that bad. Why have you been ignoring me? Relax, you're stressing me out. Fourteen days. Fourteen days since I heard from you. I didn't know if you were hurt or... or dead. Did you not think about how I would feel, even for a second? No, Kay. I wasn't thinking about your feelings while I was in the deepest, darkest pit imaginable. I'm sorry that not everything is about you. Deepest, darkest... What? You're scaring me, Jack. Please, Kay. Just leave me alone. I'll only cause you pain. No! I love you! You're not alone. I'm here for you. I don't want that! Not anymore! Leave me alone! It's blurry, but I think I remember that. It was recent. 
Maybe just a month ago. Hmm. Is it depression? That he's going through? There's a lot of anger in there, though. Anger at not being understood, but probably anger with other things as well. There's another birdie. It's good that she comes to see him as he truly is. Perhaps it's what she needs to heal. I remember this as well. That way. I don't know where the shard is, though. It's probably that way. Hmm. I'm trying to peek. I can't tell what's over there. Alright, we can go that way. Can we go that way? Yeah, we can go that way. Um, where else can we go? We can probably go that way, but we'll just... There's nothing down there, we'll just fall. What's over this way? Fusion is here. Hello, Fusion. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Fusion has redeemed two things. Stretch and hydrate. Very well. Do a stretch. Ugh, that feels good. Woke up not too long ago. feel like I'm still waking up to some extent. And hydrate. Cheers. I have some of my energy boosting tea. Oh, I hear voices. But then I often hear voices. Fusion says the sleeping schedule has fully changed for you, huh? A bit, yes. I'm trying to invest, well, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily even trying, it's just kind of happening, but I'm trying to invest more hours into streaming, and um, perhaps that has resulted in an altered sleeping schedule. As far as whether or not I will maintain the schedule, I haven't come to that conclusion yet. I try to base it to some degree around when more people will be able to uh, to watch. Oh, I have to jump this? Oh dear. Wake up when the sun goes down? I have been waking up at around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I set my alarm. 
though sometimes I snooze. I do have to jump. And this leads all the way back here. Okay. But, um, yeah. Ah, okay, the sun goes down over here around 7.15 p.m. or so. Still some light out right now. Gotcha. Yeah, I wake up when the sun's still up. Okay. So I have to pick up the shard run up there, jump over here, and then run this way, jump that, run all the way around and drop down. Okay. Now that I know how to, how to sort of combat these girls, it's, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. The important thing is not to run too far away from them, because if you do, then they're just going to fly directly over buildings and, and what not to reach you. And they're going to be able to get you before you can get away. Oh, you have an option which way to go, too. You can either go from that way or you can go this way. This way is the more direct route, but it might be the more dangerous route to go. I'll try going this route first. Excuse me. Yoink! She's a quick one. Oh, that took some time. First try. What are you up to the night, Fusion? How goes your evening? Do we just go in a circle? No, we didn't. There's a hand poking out here, but we didn't go in a circle. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, actually, maybe we did go in a circle. There's just more snow here than there was before. That's the same face statue, though. Fusion says, just had steak. Nice. Probably get ready for bed around 9.30. Gotta wake up at 4.30 for work. Ooh, early, early. All right, understandable. I'm not sure what I'll have yet. For breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. That sounds nice. Oh. Oh, those are all the birds we've been setting free. You're driving the wolf crazy. Oh. Alone. Those I aren't the birds. To destroy them. I've done it before. Those are the the messed up versions of herself. Oh, I see. He withdraws. That makes her more aggressive. And that makes both of them antagonistic. Interesting. 
This game is like a little psychology course. I've been waking up for work at 4.30 every day. Hoping I still have Wednesday off, but we'll see. I hope you do too. It's good to have at least one day off. This is really lovely singing right here. You get weekends off, but you're scheduled to have Wednesday off, but plans may change tomorrow. Depends what the boss says. Gotcha. Let's go in order. There's four now for each shard. Oh, they're all coming for me. Wow, they're quick. encounter one of these before, the buoys of light can sometimes bring light or shed light on a situation. Maybe she needs all three. But this is going to make things way more difficult now that we have to travel in a certain direction. I don't think we're, we're going to be able to swim with the piece. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. We jump here. Okay, we can't run up. All right. I almost didn't make that one. do is hurt people. You never hurt me. That's not true. Remember all the times I wasn't there for you. But you always had a good reason. No. I, I just couldn't bring myself to go outside or you get out of bed. That does sound like depression.
Excuse me. Oh, man. I feel like it may have glitched. Oh, maybe it didn't glitch. Maybe they're supposed to stay there. Oh, I think I need to go an alternate way. That's what it is. I need to jump down here, then jump over here, 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 and then set that one free. I gotcha, I gotcha. happy I would be alone without you I would be lost that's not true I lie in bed every day asking myself why should I even bother getting up then I go to work it seems fine and then suddenly I hate everything that's okay that happens to everyone. Even me. This thing! It's not about you! One more. Oh, that's the buoy with the handprint. Okay, what's our route for the final? Okay, it looks like we have to jump down to that, to this one. And then jump here, fall off. See if I'm right. Yep, run underneath, jump, and then run up here. Okay. I'm just lucky that the, all these other girls don't chase me. I would have no chance of completing this. Okay, there. There, drop down, gotcha. really not okay. Then let me help you. What if... You can't help me. Okay, listen to me. I need to figure this out on my own. I can't do that if you're in my life. You need to let me go. Aww. 
Oh, her, her pack's really full now. to work on myself now without leaning on someone else. We both do. Do you understand? Kay? No. No. I can figure this out. Don't leave me alone. Hey, Sam! Let go of me. Let go of us. And Kay? Take care of yourself. Aww. <laughs> Trophy earned. Breakdown. She couldn't contain all the darkness anymore. Hey, flip! Oh, that creature's back. Just a moment. Where are we at now? Flip has peacefully raided and graciously hosted this stream. Heyo, Orpheo. Heyo yourself, Flip. How are you doing? Shout out to Philly Flip, last casting Paranormal HK. Ooh. I'm guessing that's another horror game? For those of you in stream who are looking for a uh, a horror streamer, in addition to other kinds of games like Minecraft, feel free to give Mr. Philly Flip a follow. Flip says, ooh, this is a really good game. How are you liking it? Oh, you've played it? So far, I'm really liking it. The moments where it's calm, it's, it's really peaceful and serene. I love the music. I really like the art style. The story is interesting. And then at times, it really gets kind of dark and scary like it is now and um it's it's very unique in a good way i'm really liking it eclipse is doing good thanks yep pretty solid little indie horror game based on kowloon walled city oh referring to paranormal hk gotcha Nice. Did you beat it tonight, or are you still working on it? We're going through... This game, I believe, someone... Actually, I think it was Fusion who told me this last Monday. This game is 12 chapters long, so we should be beating this relatively soon. Uh, we just started chapter 11. It looks like it might have four parts. No, five parts. Um, just judging from the, uh, the squares that I can see on screen. And then I think that'll be it. We'll be done. Flip says, nice. I played it outside stream. Love the story in Sea of Solitude. Oh, okay. Yes, 12. Flip says, just beat it tonight. When did you start it? And how long did it take you to get through it? Unless Google lies. Well, I mean, it has before, but... Alright, we did chapter 10. Where's chapter... Yeah, chapter 9, Behind the Mask. Make sure I saw Behind the Mask. Chapter 10, Painted Black. Memories of Change. Holding on to it. 
black dog. <sighs> Clip says, I started last Wednesday. I'd say five to six hours, roughly. Okay. I'm always looking for more content. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I might have to look that one up eventually. Paranormal HK. And Creepy's here. Also, Creepy is here. Welcome, Creepy. Welcome, welcome. And how are you doing tonight? Chapter 11, Isolation. So for those who are just coming in and who may not know who I am, I'm Lord Orpheo. I stream seven days a week. Um, typically, Monday through Friday from 6 o'clock in the evening to 9 o'clock at night. Uh, though I can always stream longer than my end time. And Saturdays through Sundays uh, from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And that is uh, U.S. Eastern Time. Uh, I do a little something different every day. Typically it's indie games on Mondays, retro games on Tuesdays, uh, a weekly just chatting stream on Wednesdays, role-playing games on Thursdays, typically AAA games on Fridays, horror games on Saturdays, and racing games on Sundays. So, if any of those sound interesting to you, feel free to drop me a follow, and perhaps I'll see you again sometime during the week. Creepy says itchy. Oh. Your shoulder again. And right now, for our Monday Marvels stream, we are playing a third-person adventure game called Sea of Solitude. Uh, it is about this young woman named Kay who suffers from loneliness. And it appears this loneliness has turned her into a monster. And we are trying to figure out how to change her back. Along the way, we've encountered uh, a few other monsters that we have managed some to help, some we've had to let go. Uh, we've helped her younger brother, and he has become human again. We helped her parents, they have become human. Uh, it looks like we've just had to let go of her boyfriend, and he has remained a monster. But hopefully he is able to somehow get help for that. Uh, and now it seems that we're going to spend chapter 11 trying to change K back into a human. And, uh, or maybe that'll happen, that, I think that might happen in chapter 12. There is one other monster in the game that has been, actually there's two other monsters in the game that have been with us since the beginning. Um, one, I think, represents K's dark self, or who she may... I don't know who she may in, inevit not inevitably who she may become if she goes too far into her loneliness or into her darkness. Um, but there's this other creature who's swimming around us called the whale, and I don't know what he's supposed to represent. Maybe he represents loneliness itself. That's him there. Looks like there's a buoy of light at the end, though. We can see the light. I'm stuck. You're in the dark. But we can see light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. I'm still with you. How nice. I was just thinking about you. Maybe you should leave me. Then everyone will be happy. The light can't escape the darkness. 
interesting. Oh! We've only had to do this once before. We have to take a chance. A leap of faith, as it were, to a light in the darkness. Oh, crap, we can't even jump. Oh, the monster went away. I mean, I'm sure if I swim out far enough, he'd still be there and he'd kill me. But it's not there right now. The buoy drove it away. Oh, I kind of like that. We have to find our own way now. What are these? I feel so heavy. It's like I'm stuck to the ground. I need help. Oh, these are handprints. These are the handprints that the uh, the girl of light leaves. Oh, I think is representative of her human self. like that. Even me. Well, it was a bit more than just a bad day. It's okay. We're together again. That means something, doesn't it? You're right! I was and always will be by your side, Kay. I promise. I know. From now on, we can do this together. Okay. But how? We just have to share the burden. It will make you feel lighter, I promise. Oh, okay. Hmm. I feel lighter already. Ah! The monster's chasing me now. We can use these to distract her. Okay. <gasps> Send those things to me. I can distract her. Oh, we have to jump. Wait a second. What's this, though? Oh, I get it. If we didn't see that there's a gap there and we just fell, or if we jump and we don't make it, we can swim around to the ladder and climb up and we'll be okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, and when we send the darkness to her, we can jump again. The darkness weighs us down. How appropriate. There's the other buoy. Are we supposed to... I don't think we're supposed to swim to the other buoy. Not from... not from where we're standing. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Nope, 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 nope. Almost there. Are you coming with me? You bet. I'm right behind you. Close. I'm glad you're here. I don't feel so alone anymore. Even if one of them is trying to eat me. Oh, it's the other monster. She was always antagonistic, but she never tried to hurt us. should have listened to you. No, Kay. You did the right thing. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Hmm. So I think the whale represents her feeling of loneliness. Do you trust me now? Of course. The experience with Jack was painful, but it was important. You needed to learn. It almost destroyed me. I'm all alone now. Are you? Do you feel lonely? I don't know how to feel anymore. Hmm. right there. Okay. I thought maybe there was a collectible over here. You are not alone. You will never be if. If what? What do you mean? Hey, be patient. Please. I'm trying. Ooh. That's a pretty light. I'm guessing that's the end of the chapter. Over there.
We are almost there. Oh, the buoy. That was close. Game keeps having us make these close calls. Ooh, this looks a lot nicer. Couldn't get up there. Over here. Is she leading us to a brighter tomorrow? She may be. trust myself. Aw, oh, that's where lighting the flares sometimes the, the shadow figure would absorb them instead of the, the girl of light.
There's that beautiful music again. I would like to get the soundtrack to this game. Wait, don't leave me behind. Trophy earned. Resolve. She's human again. I made it. There's more? There's more. Alone again, at least I have you. I'd listen to her. One last thing, solitude. Chapter 12, I said 12, chapter 12. Feeling good, the beginning. I am curious, so what happens if we swim beyond? Can we even... S no, we can't. It's not letting us. Okay. I'm just curious. So I guess she had to learn to embrace who she is. And to accept that she has issues or problems. Oh, I wonder what happened to our boat. Oh, the credits writer and director so is that what happens now we we sort of walk around the island and see the credits all right work time all right creepy I hope you have a good shift oh I think I ultimately have to go that way what if you just swing around She was never- oh, she finally has shoes on! The creepy one must teleport away briefly. I 
get very strong journey vibes. Not the band, the game. Whenever the game is peaceful, that's what it that's how it makes me even when the game gets creepier, it sort of makes me feel that way as well. Writer, art and creative director, Cornelia Geppert. Yeah, that is interesting. Technical and creative director, Boris Munzer. She's hung everything. Aww, that's that's sweet. So even though she's a human now and she's wearing shoes, whenever she takes a step, she still leaves her her inky black footprint, as if she were still barefoot. So I guess maybe that's some sort of metaphor for she'll always have the issue but she can learn to, to deal with it. She can learn to live with it. Programming lead, Rob Lubowski. Bonjour, bonjour, Hago. How are you doing today? Flips is such a beautiful story and game. I agree, Flip, I agree. Hago says, does anybody here drink water? Hago redeemed hydrate. Very well. Cheers to you, Hago. I have some tea tonight. Oh, a moment. Turn this down a bit. Can hear the thirst a mile away, lol. We're just about to beat this experience, I do believe. We're seeing the credits. Programmer and game designer, Dirk Kultus. Making sure there's no final collectible around here. If there was, I, I think they would probably put it like in an obvious place that you would see. Lead artist, Janine Gerards. I am very grateful at having gotten to experience this. This is neat, it's nice looking. It's very beautiful. I wanna take a picture here. The graphics are amazing, the music is amazing, the story is great, the gameplay is good. This game has a lot of positive elements. Lead animator and voice of K, Miriam Judd. Oh, that's cool! The lead animator is also the voice actress for the main character. That's neat, I like that. This has probably become one of my favorite indie games of all time. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. Producer, Patrick Lerman. But this is up there now. This is really up there with like journey and contrast. Co-writer and cinematic animator, Saskia Wolf. I keep checking to the right to see if there's like any message in a bottles or any birds. Looks like you can just walk over here. Like you could have been doing that the whole time. I like the beach though. Gameplay programmer and VFX artist, Jan Helme Henke. Flip says, not gonna lie, had to hold back a few sniffles at the end. Aww. This is making me sad by the music. It is very somber. Level design. David Drago Mirovic. I like the way he spelled David there. D-E-I, like a deity. Graphics and console programmer, Robert Eckert. Huh. 
level design, Clemens Reckfort. Composer Guy Jackson. Well done, Guy. Well done. Oh, Creepy's back. Creepy returns from whence they've been. Welcome back, Creepy. Haga says, I'm not sad anymore, but when will add a button where it's like exercise? Maybe one day, but not anytime too soon. I did add more redeemables. Um, since yesterday, actually. You won't give up on that? Okay. Aw, there's many boats here. We relied on our boat almost the entire time to, to help us navigate these dangerous waters. These waters of loneliness. This sea of solitude. Chapter 12, Feeling Good. Are you ready? Nice. That was a beautiful ending. I thought it was going to end earlier. I thought it was going to end... As soon as she swam to the surface as a human and then saw the island in the distance. But it was nice you actually got to swim up there and uh, have a bit of a look around. That was a really beautiful game. Hanko asks... This really is a sea of solitude, of sadness, yes. Is that a monster? It is a monster. That was the... Actually, that was the second monster you encounter in the game. But it stays with you longer than any of the other monsters. And it's one of the monsters that pursues you. Not all of the monsters do. Actually, yeah. It's one of the few that do. You're scared now. Oh, the scariness has reached its end. It's huge. It looks like it could eat the boat. It never tried to eat the boat. But if you swam too far from the boat, it would eat you. We'll continue to let the credits roll, but we have completed Sea of Solitude. This is a really, really wonderful experience. I'm thinking if I'm going to have to change my my top 10 favorite games list on my Rank 1 Gaming profile. I'll think about it. I don't think it's entered my top 10 of all time, but it's definitely in my top 20. No, I looked at the games that are there. It is really, really good. It's, it's definitely my top 20. Maybe my top 15. P. 
Fusion asks, what's next for next Monday? Next Monday is going to be a one-shot, meaning a game that uh, we're only going to play once. And that's because it's supposed to be quite short. Um, it is a game called Road Bustle. And it looks to be a little something... Uh, it's another indie game. Uh, most Monday games are. And it looks to be sort of a uh, an homage to Frogger. It looks like we're a guy who's just trying to make it across roads to reach some end point. Um, it's also supposed to be an easy platinum. So we'll be doing that next Monday. And then the Monday after that, we'll be launching into our next larger epic. And that will be... What is it called? ReCore for the Xbox One. Haga says, I hope it's the last of us. I was wrong. I will eventually stream The Last of Us, but that will be on a Saturday because it is a horror game. So, spooky Saturdays. Just thought of an anime god that mixed it up. Hmm. It was a question you meant. Okay, I see. But God of War isn't. God of War isn't a horror game? No, I will stream God of War eventually. That will be on um, Franchise Fridays, which typically host AAA games. I won't be streaming all the God of Wars, um, just the ones I haven't beaten yet. So that would be God of War 3. Um, then we'll probably chronologically backtrack a bit to... Uh, God of War Ascension. And then... I think the next one after that would be... God of War, like the newest God of War. Oh, there is more? The dark clouds are back. Oh! I like that. I like that. That's neat. So perhaps we'll see a sequel one day. In the boat at the end, the boy with the blue eyes, that was Jack, that was her boyfriend. Interesting. I hope they do make another one of these. I don't know if it'll be able to, to stand up to the original because the original was so good. But I would really like to see a sequel that focused on a different character. And who knows, maybe she may make a cameo in the sequel. Evil looking child. Yes, this is Kay when she was a uh, still a monster. She was always a lovely monster, though. Monster child. Well, let me see who is on.
Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to find someone else to raid or host. And I think we found someone. Lots of octopus and tentacles, yes. We had to navigate our way around an octopus in this game earlier. Creepy says, to answer the question of the day, I'm a big, angry-looking dude who barely speaks, so everyone called me that creepy guy. Mm. Question of the day, how did you develop your Twitch or gamer name? That makes sense, Creepy. And you just sort of took that upon yourself, made that your your title. You owned it. Have a good night, Orpheo and crew. Thank you, Flip. Before we end, I'm going to give some shout-outs and some thank yous, and then we're going to throw a raid over to Bulbtastic. Um he is streaming some Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the newest Kirby game out. And I have recently become, I guess, a bit of a Kirby fan. I just beat um, Kirby's Dream Land for the original uh, Nintendo Game Boy a couple weeks back. So, go hang out there for a bit. Flip says, I'm just an ex-hobo. Aga says, I am carry one. Ooh, Kirby, yes. I am interested in Kirby. Kirby says, then again, I'm socially awkward, and if someone talks to me and I don't know what to say, I stare at them until they leave. Aww. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. For the thank yous and the shout outs, Nago says, I will stare too. First, thank you to everyone who kept me company in chat. And we have Creepy Redeemed Hydrate very well. Cheers, Creepy. It soothes the throat. So, thank you again to Fusion for being here and keeping me company. Thank you again to Mr. Philly Flip for the raid and the host. And for being here in stream chat as well. I do appreciate it. And thank you to Creepy for being here. Shout out to Creepy. And thank you to Hago for being here as well. Thank you, friends, for making the end of this stream a most memorable time. Or helping to make it so. Also, thank you. Oh, there it is. I was scrolling down. So yes, Creepy was last casting Fallout 4. Um, he enjoys first-person shooters science fiction games, and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So if any of those are of interest to you, you might want to throw him a follow as well. <laughs> You're being exposed. Exposed. Thank you also to the lurkers who are here. I do appreciate your viewership. I hope you are entertained somewhat by this game, myself, or a combination of the two. Perhaps you will see me again sometime during the week on a future stream. So, let me set up the raid to Bulbtastic with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Here we are. All right, and closing announcements. So, if you enjoy indie games, uh, at least primarily indie games, then join me next Monday for Road Bustle. And as I said, that'll just be a one-shot. And then the Monday after that, we'll be moving on to ReCore, which, as I understand it, is a much longer game. It's like a 40-hour game. 
Um, so we'll be on that for a good, a good bit. Uh, the next time I'll be streaming in general will be uh, Tuesday. Yes, it's still today, it's still Monday. Will be tomorrow uh, evening at 6 p.m. Eastern for our Retro Reminiscence Retro Game Day. And we'll be streaming through the original Castlevania from Konami for the very first time. I hope uh, Curse of the Moon has prepared me enough for, for that challenge, but we'll see. So perhaps I will see you next Monday for Road Bustle, or perhaps I will see you tomorrow evening for Castlevania, or in the next few moments in the stream of Baltastic for some Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Until next time, have a good night, stay safe, God bless.